Welcome or welcome back to my channel and today I have a fragrance Friday to share with you. Before we get any further I have nothing on my lips and I don't remember the name of this. It's, these are nail wraps um, so I'm not quite sure the name but if I remember I will definitely put it down below. My friend Ramona is a consultant for these nail wraps. This is very collective and very exciting. Some items we found um, I'm gonna say my fr I actually did a trade with a friend of mine here in Halifax who is also a fragrance enthusiast. She found Bond Number no. Nine. That's right, the niche brand in Winners. But we did a quick trade, which was awesome. So we'll start with that. So what I trade with my friend, she took the Roses Vani from Mansara, and this was Bond Number no. Nine's Bryant Park, and this one was ninety nine dollars. Beautiful presentation. Look at this bottle. So this is a really cute bottle. I love it. Totally reminds me of Sex in the City. We have top notes such as like pink pepper, and we have rhubarb, we have lily of the valley, we have amber. mid notes of patchouli and rose, and also there's some raspberry on the base of this too. And I guess I can understand why they chose this color, but it's very like carry from Sex in the City. So that's in my opinion anyway. Oh, it smells so good. It dries down better on me than initial spray. This initial spray is very strong, very bold, as I'm sure Bryant Park is. I have never been, but it's very bold. It's very nice. I think I get mostly the pink pepper and the rose, but then it dries down really beautifully on my skin. I am looking forward to definitely testing this one out throughout the summer because I think it's gonna be beautiful. On to a brand new company that I am super excited to share with you. I've been sitting on these fragrances for almost two weeks now <laughs> to do uh, a video and haul this for you. But both of these are from a Canadian company. This is from Lavender Clouds and Poetry from Edmonton, Alberta. That's right, from here in Canada. These are very environmentally friendly. They're clean fragrances. Both of these are in their 15 milliliter bottles. They're also hand painted and they're done in small batches. So I ordered mine, you can go to their website, but you can also get them off of the bay, which is where I ended up getting mine because I actually hadn't heard from them, but I was like, ooh, I was reading these notes. I was like, mm, I gotta try this. So I have Dripping in Nectar and I have Soft Core. And we're gonna show you guys, the bottles are absolutely beautiful. So this is Dripping in Nectar. Look at this gorgeous bottle, you guys. Beautiful bottles, all hand painted, all done. Again, really small batches. Canadian, black owned company, you guys. This is beautiful. I am so excited. Oh, this is so pretty. There are no scent notes on Fragrantica because I don't think Fragrantica even knows about this fragrance or this whole line. So dripping in nectar is definitely sweet. There's a sucrose scent to this. It's very light floral. It kind of almost reminds me a bit of a honeysuckle type scent. Like probably what hummingbirds really love about nectar and things like that. It's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. And I haven't worn on my skin yet. Like I said, I've been waiting to film this video. So there we go. That's the bottle. It's so awesome. Look at the little box. It has like a wax seal right here and it's a beautiful little sticker across here. It's gorgeous. So the second one I have from this company is called Soft Core. And again, the bottle is beautiful. Again, Edmonton, Alberta, you guys. This is the bottle here. She is gorgeous and the juice is nice and like a golden color. Beautiful, beautiful color. I was really excited to see this, you guys, to see something different, something Canadian and black owned. So you guys, if you haven't tried them out, check them out on their website or at the Bay. This one's probably my favorite of the two. It has more of a sweetness to it. <laughs> it reminds me of a candy, like um, not peach, but just a really nice sugary candy. Some blossoms as well. But this one's got a little bit more depth than the first one I showed you. This is really good. And the juice again is a little bit darker in color. So I think maybe there's a little bit more vanilla in here as well. Oh, you guys. Oh, it smells so good. It's so hard to tell you guys what it, what it truly smells like, except that it smells really, really sweet. Between the two that I've showed you today, you have to like sweet fragrances. Um, I, again, I haven't really given them a lot of wear tests because I've been waiting for this video to share with you that I purchased these two. This particular size is the largest that they do and it's 15 milliliters and it's $70 Canadian. But it's gorgeous and again, small batches and 
Canadian, black owned, all of this, that, and the other. You guys, give them a try, give them some love. So I definitely give some love to Lavender Clouds and Poetry. They are fantastic. I cannot wait to try to get a couple more in my collection. On to a fragrance that I was so excited to see came back in stock. I've been waiting for this thing for gosh darn like a year <laughs> because everybody and their mother talks about this fragrance. And it didn't matter men or women, everyone seemed to really like it. It's not a very expensive fragrance. And that is from Zara in Rich Warm Addictive. So here she is. And it's still, as far as I'm, when I'm filming this, it's actually still available on their website, on Zara.com, I guess it is. Um, this is really good. And I share this with Nelson. I'm like, what do you think? And he's like, ooh, I like that. I'm like, well, I guess we're sharing. I'll share, maybe a little bit. Oh, this is so good. I love, I don't get a lot of tobacco, but I get a lot of the, the alcohol, like the rum, the spices, the warmth of the vanilla, and it's so good. Like if you're a woman, for example, fragrances can be for anybody. This is in the, the men's section of the website. But if you're a woman who does enjoy her male leaning, like leaning more male sense, definitely give this one a try for under $30 Canadian. It's really worth it. And I, again, I'm not sure about the longevity. I just hauling these for you guys today, but um, definitely something I want to save maybe for the fall. If I can help myself, I don't know if I'll be able to wait that long, but I am looking forward to it. I'm not expecting a lot of longevity and I don't normally get a lot of longevity from a Zara fragrance. Doesn't matter what it is, but I am looking forward to giving this a shot, so. Nice, that's Rich Warm Addictive from Zara. So up next we have from Jean-Paul Gaultier, the classic essence de parfum. I'm still waiting for the Le Vie Belle Intense to come out in Shoppers Drug Mart here in Canada, but it may take a year and a half. So, look at her, she's so pretty. Look at her, she's gorgeous. That juice is just like, it's screaming my name because that color, I'm not gonna take it out of its um, bottom part here, but this is delightful and Nelson also liked this very much when I upon first spray mm. oh it smells so good there's definitely a floral but there's a way more vanilla in this one she is absolutely beautiful ambery warm vanilla a little bit of blossoms like a, a white flower floral and she is a strong beast that throws well and the sillage is amazing so again that's from Jean-Paul Gaultier in the classic essence perfume. Okay, something that was intriguing me at On The Bay website was a pack of Bulgari Omni Crystals. So this is the box here. It has all three of these inside. Omnia Crystalline, Omnia Floral Eau de Parfum, and Omnia Amethyst. So the Crystalline has gotten lots of love on the internet these days. And what's kind of cool is they're actually individually box, box like so. So if you have someone you know that you might want to split these up and gift as a gift. So here is the Omnia Crystalline and this is beautiful. This is the one that everyone's talking about right now. Anywhere you look, that's what everyone's talking about. Now, I love these for travel. This particular size is great. This lid, like the cap tends to confuse people because it is two circles, but for some reason people have a hard time matching them together. I don't know, but anyway. <laughs> so this one here is definitely on the internet right now as a very hot commodity. It's very citrusy and beautiful and bright, a little bit of floral. It's gorgeous. And again, like I feel like these ones are perfect for workout fragrances. I love them for their scent, but I also find them that are great in the summertime and the heat of the summer, uh, humidity of the summer. If you're in a humid climate like I am here in Halifax. Uh, yeah, it's just a great little perfume and really like, I think this box set was, mm, I think it was close to $60. So they're about $20 a piece, which is what you would pay at Chopper's Drug Mart for this size, $19.99. So this one is my favorite in the all three here in the box set. Next up is the Omnia Amethyst. And this is gorgeous, a beautiful purple color. Oh, it's definitely, it's a, a floral, but it's like a green floral to me. This is really, really nice, very light. Whereas I felt the crystalline is actually a little bit thicker, a little bit more dense, but still good for summer. This one is more light and airy and and like floral and fresh. I'm actually surprised. I actually quite like this one a lot, but still my, my favorite. The crystalline is my favorite. This one would be number two. 
I'm not sure about the, how the longevity will be on this one because it's not super strong right now, but you never know. I believe this is the Omnia by Mary Katrinotsu, but I think it's the I think this is called the Colorful Bouquet, but I'm not exactly sure. This is the box here. I believe this is one of the newer fragrances to the Bul Bulgari line. So like the cap is like, like super, super stylish. Like the whole thing is really great. I love the colors. Very summery, very appropriate. Oh, there's definitely, a, I feel like there's a little bit more of a pepper note, but a more of pepper and citrus note. Ooh. This has spring vibes to me. It's definitely more floral, hence the name, of course. But this is lovely, you guys. Um, wow. Really, really nice. Ah, uh, hmm. Now which one's my favorite? I'm going to take back kind of what I said at the beginning of this video. So of the three, I'm going to say the floral one's my favorite, which is a shocker because I'm not a floral fan. And then I'm going to say the Omnia Crystalline Amethyst is my third favorite. Um, cause I feel like this one's not going to be that strong, but man, this one actually really surprised me a lot. There's some citrus notes and it grabs you, but there's a lot of floral notes in here as well. And I'm not a floral fan, but it smells great. Of course, I'll definitely keep you guys posted on what I feel, how I wear them, whether they get projection or not. But I think, you know, this was uh, again on, at the Bay. I think you could probably find them other places. Um, but it works out to be about $20 each, which is what I would have paid for this exact size at Chopper's Drug Mart at the end cap, $19.99. And you guys, a new to me house, which I am so excited to be trying. And I got the smallest sizes of each because this is not a cheap perfume. But one of the two comes from my favorite perfumer in all of the world. <laughs> um, so I'll just show you what these both are. are. Jacques Faf. So we have Velours um, Boisse. And we also have uh, Curacao Bay. I'm sorry if I said it wrong. I'm not very good with that stuff. So I got these the polar opposites from this line. This one here, the, the Velours Boisse is definitely your wintertime fragrance. That hummingbird, man. Curacao Bay, I think that's how you say it, is definitely the wear right now. It's really warm out. You better like try this. And this is from my favorite nose of all time, Cecile Zorokin. So she created this one and I had to have it in my collection. So I'm just gonna show and share with you guys my thoughts. So first off, we're gonna go the Curacao Bay. And again, Cecile Zorokin is the nose of this particular fragrance. And again, I got the small one because they're not cheap and I wanted to make sure I really enjoy this. This is just a little 15 mil, but look at that. I love how it's blue Curacao but it's gorgeous. And you guys, this is your summertime fragrance. You need to have this in the summer. Holy, it really reminds me of the beach um, being younger. Oh, it smells so good. There's coconuts, beachy, the salt, the sand, not sunscreen, much more sophisticated. There's a little bit, I feel like a little bit of citrus in this, but citrus isn't leaning straight ahead. It's definitely a beachy fragrance. Oh, this is gorgeous, you guys. And I have, because I couldn't help myself, I have worn this and the lasting power on this was a good six to eight hours on my skin. Um, and I run a very hot temperature and generally fragrances do get eaten up very quickly by me and my skin. Um, lucky me. Um, anyway, I really enjoy this one. So that's Blue Curacao, um, designed by Cecile Zorokin, which is my favorite nose and fragrance. So Curacao Bay, woohoo. Now the other one, which I'm gonna have a hard time pronouncing again, same company. The perfumer is Luca Maffi, Maffi. And this one is Valour Boisse. And this is a very winter fragrance. And you can see right from the bottle, Look at the juice, look at that. It's absolutely gorgeous. And may I just say, I am looking forward to the cooler months. Not not quite yet. I need to embrace some of the summer coming up and the hot heat, but I cannot wait to wear this come the late fall and into the winter months because this, she is spicy. Oh, wow. This definitely to me leans more masculine if you want to go, if you, I'm just throwing it out there, but there's spices, it's rich, like tonka bean, vanilla, clove, cardamom, lots of cardamom, I feel. This is absolutely gorgeous and it's very sexy. Like this is what I would consider if a man were to wear this to be very sexy. 
it's beautiful. I think both of these fragrances are actually unisex, but I feel like this one maybe leans a little bit more masculine and the other one leans a little bit more feminine, but you can I wear it, <laughs> but doesn't matter on both sides. So I think they're both great. So that one was Velour Boisse. So this is from the Fats Essential line from Jacques Fats. And it's my first from this perfumer or from this house. And I'm loving this. I cannot wait to wear this one a little bit more in the cooler months. And I cannot wait to dig into you now because she's pretty. Stay tuned because I have some really great content coming up for perfume lovers. Um, coming up in the next week or two, um, my friend Kara and I have decided to do something kind of fun and yeah, you're going to see a lot of really cool, fun things, uh, when it comes to perfume very shortly, but you guys, thank you so much for watching as always be safe, take care and have fun. Bye guys.